December, January especially, you need to show resilience. That's the most important thing. And we showed that, but Watford showed it as well. So I respect that. Um, we had chances, we scored goals, but they had chances as well, which they didn't score from. That's for sure one reason why they are in the situation they are in. But um, on two or three balls they missed, which I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that um, so this time maybe I can speak now about it. The, the, the wind helped us today from time to time, but I'm pretty sure Saab would have at least would have had a finish in the situation when he didn't when he didn't hit the ball um, without the wind. So, but it was it made the game just tricky for both sides. Though so that's clear, but it helps them a little bit more than us usually um, in a lot of situations. Ali was like 85 minutes. Think of the game, um, really doing warm-up exercises. But in these five minutes, he was really important and just showed what a what a goalie he is. is unbelievable. Uh, helped us a lot in these situations. Um, yeah, and we had to fight, and that's what we did, and um, that's why we won. Look, if we wouldn't go to Qatar now, we would play midweek Aston Villa, and then West Ham, right? The only difference is that we fly seven and a half hours. But that's warmer. So, um, OK, it, obviously, it, it's, I think it's raining there. That is helps. That doesn't help the pitch, the, the one pitch we are playing now all on. It's sensationally good organized. Um, and where all the games are now on the one pitch and it's raining there, I'm, I'm not sure if the people in Qatar are really used to a lot of rain. And how the, we will see how the pitch will be then. Uh, that's a bit of a problem, but I was not there, so I have no idea. Today I read an article that the top clubs want to do more games in the Champions League or whatever. That's I, I'm not involved in these plans, so that's um, absolute bollocks as well. So no, that's how it is. We can we can talk about everything, but we have to cut off games, not not putting more in. Um, but until then, we have to do what we do, and uh, we will do that, and we are quite positive about it. So, but it's clear we need each point we can get um, because it's a tough and long season. Um, you can make early judgment and early resumes or whatever. We can't. We just have to recover and play the next game. We create some unbelievably um, good goal-scoring situations. Unable to convert them today, um, and it's a scant reward that we that we leave here with uh, with with nothing for our efforts um, in terms of points. But I was very pleased with the collective work ethic today. I thought that was a um, hopefully that that's a shift in what we've looked like at times uh, this season but we can't we we can't uh, we can't go from one extreme to another that it, that's uh, we've got to play with that intensity in every game if we do that there's there's uh, a real possibility of turning the corner when i joined last week and when craig joined me we we knew that that we have at our disposal some good players. Um, when you consider where we are, the number of points that we have, and um, you know the circumstances of this season of uh, still being without a home win, uh, there's got it, 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 there's got to be more to it. And I think what we have to do, uh, all of us as staff, is to work with the players to. Um, give them or help them find the belief themselves. We can't give them, uh, we don't give them that. We hopefully help facilitate that and, and uh, give them the framework to do that. But ultimately players have to go out in the field and play. And they played with a lot of conviction today. And yes, there are disappointed players in our dressing room, but I also sensed a a togetherness which is going to be important. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.